Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, you guys. Last time was pretty stinking bizarre, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. I am dying to see this next one as well. Um, I think you heard most of what I had to say last time, so I will keep my intro here really brief. But before I get started, I do just want to say if you are joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, Still, thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. If you're joining me on those YouTubes, I really hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. It helps me out an awful lot. So thank you in advance for that. Um, all right, guys, we had some adventures with a rat last time. With two rats, actually. The one rat was pretty easy to take out. The, the bug-eaten one, not so much. Um, it's amazing how, like... I mean, I know rats are very smart in general, so it makes sense that, like, once a rat has kind of an ability that, like, sort of enhances that, it would probably be pretty clever, but it's still kind of crazy to think of, like, how, <laughs> how like, toe-to-toe -to -toe that rat was going <laughs> with, like, this amazing, like, intellect um, for, like, a little bit. Um... Oh, and we also got to see, I didn't mention this last time, we got to see Jotaro stop time. Um, it's, it's awesome to, like, see him using, like, the world. That's, that's, like, crazy. I loved it. And he did it a couple times, so it was, uh, it was really fun to see. Um, again, I think that the setup is clever enough. It's interesting. It's, it's laid out well. Like, it was... It was fun to follow, but for me, what really, really stood out there was all of the character stuff and getting to see, getting to see Josuke really, like, having to take control of the situation and be awesome and think his way out of it, and getting to see Jotaro see that and kind of know that, like, wow, like, this guy's really special. Like, he's really something. I can count on him. Um... And also just seeing, like, more of Jotaro because it's been a hot minute since we spent, like, more than a couple of minutes with him. Um, so, yeah, and I, okay, I'm pretty sure he did have a new outfit last time. It was a different outfit because I think the hat was different. So, like, we got a new theme. We've got a new outfit for Jotaro. I just feel like we're, we're entering a really fun, interesting part of this arc. I'm having way too much fun as I always am. Uh, the next one is a Rohan episode, which I am so down for. I literally cannot wait. Like, I literally am counting down the seconds as we speak. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, without further ado, because I really want to jump right into this, what do you say we just go ahead and we jump right into the next episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Let's do this. Oh. <gasps> oh, he's itching his way closer! Oh dear. Okay. Maybe you. Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. And then there's something miss? Interesting. Oh, wow. Why is it, like, not... Have you found a lot of errors on maps before, Sleepy? Why is there poop? Why is there... Are they going around in circles? How? Good idea. See, that's the kind of thinking you get from someone who, like, has to make the stuff up for a living. Oh, 
Like a barrier or something? Whoa! I think we've seen the girl in the opening, or haven't we? Whoa! We get to actually like see. Whoa! That's such a cool design. <gasps> okay. Uh, we just opened the cheeks this time, not the whole face. Oh, he's leveled up. That's why it came out. Huh? Hmm. Oh, wow, that's a lot of really specific imp Oh my That uh, Oh my god! That's awful! Also, why are we reading why are we reading all of that? That's like super personal! Oh! Okay, you have to be shown how. There's still something off here. Pocky! Huh? What? Pocky fortune telling. <laughs> um, <laughs> Koichi's like, well. <laughs> That's so true. He's way more calm about it. Don't tell me, don't tell me this girl's a ghost. <laughs> don't tell me she's a ghost. This is very creepy. Koichi's not having it. Please, no, nothing, no dog stuff. Oh, Arnold! It's blood. Can I already tell you right now, it's some kind of gross. What? So is a person licking her hand? Oh! It was not real. It was not real. It was not real. It was not real. Or was it? Or was it? The dog, the dog house though, and the dog poop. Oh! Please no, not the dog. Not the dog dripping blood. Please no. Oh, he's so Oh! What? Oh my god, I was right? They're ghosts. We've never done ghosts, but we don't we done vampires, but we never done ghosts. Oh, oh the dog stop! That is so utterly disturbing and disgusting that there was like a murderer under the bed licking her hand and the dog got, oh. No, there's like a barrier. There's a, yeah, that's what I said. There's like a barrier. What? Are we upside down? No! Oh! Uh. What if she's a friendly ghost? Oh, poor doggy. Oh. 
So maybe you two can help each other. You help her move on and her dog. Ooh. So catch the murderer. Whoa. <gasps> Let's go hunt this person down. Oh. Okay. Just let it... Yeah. Just make sure that the path to justice is forged. That really sucks. And her dog. And her parents too, probably. I think they said that. What, maybe this is how she moves on, though. That is weird. So this is going to be our next villain. Whoa. for a while 15 years so this has nothing to do with the arrows or anything this is something different okay all right yeah I would say we I would say we have to do something That's the thing, and like it could be you or someone you know next, you know? Come on. Also, like, wouldn't this make an excellent story? I'm kind of surprised he's not <laughs> jumping all over this. You know what I mean, though? Does he mean it or does he just want to help and he's saying that? Oh, okay. Well, there's my answer. <laughs> Wait. What's the rule? Stay and listen. Okay. Why would they turn around? Puppy dog Arnold. He's so cute. Oh. Don't be scared. It's just death. Don't turn around. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Uh. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Keep looking right ahead. Oh, gross. Oh, you can't run either. I s still wouldn't turn around. I still wouldn't turn around. He was. Oh, I knew it! It's a Weird. Oh, because you could still use that. Weird. Wow, that's that sent like a shiver down. Oh. Oh. Okay, she's bound, and so is Arnold. Oh, come visit sometime. She has a friend. She has a friend now. And I got to think that after being trapped and alone for so long. Mm. Yeah. That's, I think maybe he can kind of dig the style. 
Oh, do we know this person? Oh. <gasps> what? He was there? Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> that's so messed up. What? He was there. Maybe that's why it appeared. She saved him! She saved him! What? She saved him. Oh, okay, how to get there. We always get like the how to get there. We'll appear between the convenience store. Warning, most people won't be able to see it, but if you happen to wander down this path, do not turn around no matter what. Okay. <laughs> He's like, she... <laughs> That, yeah. What I mean, but what if, what if it is a stand user though? I wonder if his grandpa would have known anything about this. Oh! Oh my god! <gasps> is that the person from the... That's not the person from the theme, is it? Don't tell me that's the murderer. Wouldn't that be crazy if the murderer just... <gasps> oh, don't tell me this is the person who has been going around and... Taking limbs and stuff. Oh dear God! It's gonna be it's gonna be a corpse. It's gonna be a corpse or just the hand, just the arm. Oh no! Oh! Oh! It's just the hand! Oh! No! So this is the person who's really. Who's watching? Who's watching? Oh. Kira. So that's gonna be our next villain. I didn't see if the person had a stand though. Whoops, it's trying to play the next one. We don't want that. Hang on. Don't play the next one. Don't do that. Even though I really wanna see it. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I kinda wanna binge watch all of it right now. Oh, I had totally forgotten about the disembodied hand from like a couple of episodes ago, you guys. It's all connected. It's all been leading up to this. Okay. Wow, what an episode. I gotta say, I, I like, at first was like, oh, it's gonna be a ghost, ha ha ha. I never expected it to actually be a ghost. Um, her story is so, so sad, but when you add in the fact that Rohan was actually there and she saved him, I mean, that definitely adds another layer to this, for sure. Oh, man, what an episode. God, I love getting to see more Rohan. I, I'm starting to be able to size him up a little bit more, and I'm glad that we did something to kind of link back to his personal story because that means we're definitely going to be bringing him back more. Um, here's the thing, though, and I probably wasn't paying close enough attention, but I didn't see him do anything that looked like a stands. I haven't seen anything that looked like a stand in any of the instances where we've seen, like, dis... So, wait a minute. When we start off the, the season, there's, like, a scene with, like, a hand. And I assume that that was something that Angelo did, because then we're dealing with Angelo after that. Has it all been the same person? This, I mean, obviously this is the same person who did the one that we saw a couple of, like, I think it was before the, the baby one. And I had forgotten all about it. 
And there have been a series of these murders going on for 15 years. Like the, the, the rate of like missing people or children or whatever is super high in this town. And it's thanks to this person. And they just happen to randomly run into us with a car. But here's the thing, though. Did they randomly run into us? Because we already know that sand users are attracted to other sand users, like, for better or worse. So could you kind of maybe use that to infer that maybe Kira is a stand user? I don't know. I haven't actually seen anything that looked like a stand. I, unless I just really blatantly missed something, which is possible. I don't know. You guys will let me know if that's the case. I think they're just not ready to tell us yet. Because it's true. Like, they're going to say, look, if it's not a stand, that's, 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 it's not their jurisdiction anymore. <sighs> but here's the thing, though. <sighs> you know what? I feel like, you know, who probably would have known something about this would have been Josuke's grandpa because he was the wasn't he like the chief of police or something I feel like he was like the chief of police but he was definitely a policeman um I wonder like if we, I I'm not sure if there's any way we could get like more insider info on this because the police are at a loss so like yeah I'll leave it to the police but at the same time like It's just a matter of time until something happens to somebody close to us, you know? So it seems like he's only going after young women. Is kind of what it seems like from all the different hands. And Raimi. Um, shoot. Did we just meet our big villain for the season? Possibly. Did we? <gasps> Another serial killer. I gotta say, um, I think that it could be, I think that it could be really, really, like, interesting, frightening, and, like, all of the above to do something like that, where it's, like, somebody who is just, you know, in the past we've kind of seen, I mean, it's not like we haven't seen people who are just, like, killers or anything, by themselves like without their stand but it's always kind of been there's always kind of been like a point to it I don't know I like that's a weird thing to say but there's always been like something more to it whereas now could we be seeing someone who is just I mean kind of like kind of like Angelo but I get the idea that Angelo like Angelo got caught you know like I get the idea that Angelo wasn't this person's, if they've evaded the police for that long, like, are we looking at someone who's, like, a real, like, I hate to say pro because <laughs> it makes it sound like there's some kind of, like, hierarchy, but you know what I mean, though? <sighs> I'm almost praying that this person has a stand now so that we can go after him. But then if he has a stand, that's going to be so much worse. But seriously, though, if he doesn't have a stand, that means that it would be, like, not that hard to catch him or take him out. But then it's technically, like, not our thing. You know what I mean? Oh, that's tough. That's real tough. Um, all right. I guess we'll just see. That was a great episode. That would have been a great episode by itself. Just with the ghost story, I just think that was really cool and well done. And the whole idea of, like, um, being trapped in the loop and not being able to, like, look back and everything. It was just really, really good and creepy. And, like, God, this would be such a good one for, like, Halloween. For, like, spooky season coming up. Um, but now you add in all this other stuff that I have a feeling is going to be really important later. Oh, boy. And I love that it's kind of linked back to Rohan, ultimately. Because... Truly, I just want to see more of Rohan. And I'm like happy that his story is, is, isn't that wrong. But I'm like, oh, I'm happy that you were involved in the murder. Oh, guys. All right. Now I'm starting to feel that danger level go up. Now I'm starting to feel it. Now I'm starting to feel it. Okay. 
All right. Great episode. Holy freaking cow. Like that. And I thought the one before that was good. This one was like, they're just like topping themselves here. All right, guys, I'm assuming that that was kind of the turning point. Now we're going to go. That's going to be like where we lean into for the rest of the season. Unless it's just like an arc. It could just be like an arc. I don't know. Maybe we're not going to have like one big bad for the season. Maybe it's going to be a series of like weird crap that's happening around this town. I don't know. But I'm so on board for it. That was so good. That was so good. Um, all right. Great episode. I freaking loved it. I love Raimi. I feel so bad for her. And I want more than anything in this world for her to be set free. And Arnold. And Arnold. Enough with the dogs. What am I... What do I keep on saying, guys? Was that the last dog? You could tell me. You could be honest. Was that the last dog? I really hope it was. Really hope it was. So technically, the dog was already gone. So I don't know if that... But we still had to see it, though. We had to see the flashback. Oh, uh, dog was so cute. It looked like my dog. It looked like my dog. <laughs> it looked like my dog. <sighs> guys, I need to go. I need to go. I need to go and try to forget that image. Um, okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please don't leave me now. I need your help. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.